but uh, I was up on the roof here. When I go up on the roof here, I uh, usually go up. I cry, I, I climb up. Boy, yay! I climb up the tower alongside of the shack, and. Uh, and when I get up there, you know, at that point I step off onto the roof and everything is, you know, it's better than putting up a ladder. <coughs> so um, I had the 360 with me. And every time I took two or three steps, I would stick it to the side of the tower. And I would climb up a few more and I reach down and grab it and stick it up there. And when I get up, I step off the tower to the roof. I take it and I have a little platform up there where there's a uh, searchlight so I can scan the yard if I have to remotely. So I stuck it on that little platform. I haven't turned it on yet, but that's where we're at. So then I started doing things, getting things, screwing around with things, and I realized that uh, there was a lot of trees. What well, is a tree on the neighbor's yard over here? It's about three feet, four feet from the side of the shop and uh, it's only a little thing but apparently it grew a lot this year let's put it that way when I got up there to start rolling down this paper uh, this tree is all over the roof and that's some of it was dead some of it was leaves some of it, whatever and as I'm blowing it out with the leaf blower uh, I noticed that there was a dig in the tar in the uh, in the roof from the branch. That's probably where the leak was coming from because it's that area. Hmm. So I'm trying to clean everything up, but there's so many tree limbs, little ones, vines, just a lot of shit all over a good part of the roof. I couldn't even get in there to clean it up. I couldn't get in there to do anything with tar paper, tar, right? So I had to go up there with the loppers and start cutting. Uh, there was a couple of them where I actually had to get up there with a saw uh, and just get them so that they're not hanging over the roof. So I finally get that done. Now I'm ready to start smudging some of that thick, gooey black stuff so I can start putting down the, the paper. So I get that done. I have a paddle from an, uh, it's an oar, you know, um, from the uh, tenders that we used to have. And I had two of them here, so I said, well, you know what, I'm going to take one of those. And I used it last year when I did the other side. And um, that's what I'm going to do. And it works great in that, in that muck, because you can, it's stiff, so it's like, and you can spread it across, drop your seam. You know, and smudge it in and, and do what you got to do. So I got that part done. I got one roll down. Uh, I got to do another one yet. So I said, well, I want to get some of the seams done around this one on the outside and, you know, on the top and on the outer ledge where the roof drops off and start coming down this side so that the next one will adhere to it when I overlap it. So I had to get the, the brush. I use a brush. Uh, it's actually a uh, boat brush. I use it, well, I got a bunch of them around here, but I used to use them for washing the boat and things, and, as well as the vans and stuff like that. They're on a handle. So anyway, uh, it's laying up there on the roof from last time I was up there. There's a few things I just left there. It's not a big deal. So uh, I picked that up off the roof and I'm going to stick the handle into it, but yet there was a little tar that cured on the brush, right where the hole was. So I had to put the handle in it and kind of jam it. So where am I jamming it? I'm jamming it up against the tower. Boom, boom. And it's working. Boom, boom. Well, the next thing you know, this little 360 up here decides to fall off the ledge and bounce back and forth within the tower all the way down to the ground and then fall out. However, it did fall upright, but you know, it's the abuse going all the way down. So uh, I was up on the roof and I said to the wife, 
uh, I dropped the camera. Oh, great, you know, great, you know, that thing. So anyway, I said, check it out. So she picks it up. Now, she's never used this one, so she's not familiar with it. So I said, look on the side, on the top globe part, on the side of it, you'll see two buttons. There's a red one. Oh, there's one with red print on it. All right. Press that in, hold it for a second, let it go. Boom, boom. Two red lights come up on the top. Yep, okay. Now, see the button in the front? Yep. Just push that in for like a second, and let it go. She pushes it in for a second. So those lights should turn red. She goes, hey, they do, but they go out. Oh, shit. The camera's broke. <laughs> I said, try it again. Hold it a little bit longer. Push a little bit harder. You know. So uh, she says, no, it keeps going out. Uh, shit. Sounds like it's broke. So anyway, I pay no mind to it. If it's broke, it's broke. I'm up doing something. I'm not going to start thinking about that when I'm up on a roof. I got everything done that I could get done with the tar that I had left, you know, and the, and the coating and all that kind of shit. So I still have to go to Home Depot, uh, probably tomorrow. But, um, so at that point, I come back down the, one, the tower, and I picked everything up, and I took the camera, and came in here, and turn it, hit the button, you hear, cheek, I said, it's not broken. Somehow or rather, it went into still shot, camera mode. You hit the button, and it goes, you know, and it makes that little, and that's what it was doing. That's why the light was coming on red and then going off. So I changed it back to video, and now we're testing it. This is the first, since it hit the ground, that it's on and running to see if it's going to work. And I put you up there just in case this one doesn't work. Um... Not that I'm doing anything important, but I just wanted to touch base on that camera for a minute. I was going to turn it on up there, but I didn't have a chance because it ended up down here. So, and besides, you've seen me up on the roof, tar on the roof before, it's not a big deal. So, so anyway, that's that. Today is uh, Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. You know what, and C, not CVS, CVS is a pain in the ass, I stopped going there, I like Walgreens, however, they got a couple of new people there, in the pharmacy department, and for pharmacists, they're awfully stupid, they really are, they called up, well, I told you about the story, I think, uh, how they called up, said there was a script ready, I called them up to find out which one it was, and I said, I'm just trying to find out what script is ready, you know, and uh, they asked for, you know, date of birth and all that. She goes, well, what script are you talking about? <laughs> well, that's why I'm calling. You called me. I'm trying to find out which one it is. Well, is it this one? You tell me. That's why I'm calling. Did you call about that script to tell me it's ready? I mean, this is a simple thing. She goes, uh... No, but I have another one here for you that's ready. <sighs> anyway, she gives me another one. I said, no, I don't even, put that on the shelf. I don't even know what it is. I don't want it. So anyway, so much for that. And, uh, fine. Get a call two days ago, three days ago. What's today? Wednesday. Must have been like on a Friday or something. <coughs> Script is ready. Script is ready. I call up again. Same thing. Which one are you calling for? Which one did you call me about? We called you? Alright. Apparently... You don't keep records. I know it's a machine probably doing it, uh, you know, but whatever. You should get a check. She calls me. Uh, she doesn't call me. She comes back to the phone. She tells me, oh, yeah, it's this one. I go, it's ready now? No, it's not ready now. Then why did you call me? Well, we called you to tell you that it'll be ready next week. Well, then, okay, fine. She goes, but the doctor's got to put in the, the, the script for it first. 
why? <laughs> you know what I mean? Why? You know. No. So anyway, so much for that. I went to the doctor <laughs> yesterday, and uh, he put in the script. Don't you think we get a call today? A message? Your script is ready. Well, I know it wasn't the other one. The one that the doctor put in. But it could have been, but more than likely it wasn't. So, I call him back. Hi, this is so-and-so, born blah, 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 blah. And I'm checking on a phone call that I just received telling me that there's a script ready for me. And I'd like to know which one it is. Okay, they're looking me up apparently. She goes, well, which one is it that you're, you're talking about? Again, that's why I'm calling you. That's what I had said. Are you not listening or you just don't understand? You know, so uh, I said to her, that's why I'm calling you. I said, you know, this happened last week. I said, does anybody there know what they're doing? You know, and, and when I get that way, I, I, I say it like it is. Uh, so anyway, she says, oh, she says, you got a script here for something. I says, I told him to put that back on the shelf last week. I don't know what it is. I don't need it. I don't want it. She says, well, I have another one here. I go, yeah. She says, but it won't be ready until the 15th. So why are you calling me? I says, okay, so I can pick it up on the 15th? Yeah. You're going to have it ready for me on the 15th? Yeah. So now we'll see what happens. Now, I never had that problem with Walgreens before. So it's got to be a new group. A turnaround, I don't know, do they have, a, you know, like apprentices come in, you know, do they have to go through a certain training, you know, as a pharmacy before they get their licensing, who knows, you know.